Now before we can go ahead and start creating our objects, you know that we talked about before, the tables, queries, forms, and reports, the tables being the most important because that's where we're going to start storing our data or creating records. We have to create a database, a shell of a program, so we can start creating those objects. To do that, just come over here and let's open up Access. We can either start with a blank database, design it from scratch, and then go ahead and start entering in our information, our records, or we can have it already designed for us in a template, and then we just can go ahead and start entering in the records, like maybe the template for contacts. We're a company that does a lot of sales, and we need to keep track of our contacts. In any case, let's start off with a blank database first. So go ahead and make sure it's selected, or in this case it's highlighted in orange, then come down here and click on the Create button. But before I do that, I want to answer two questions. What name do I want to give the database, and where do I want to dump it into? What folder? Well, it's going to be by default in the Exercises folder on my desktop, and as you recall in an earlier training video, I set that default. But I can change it on the fly if, for this instance, this database, I don't want it stored there. I can click on the Browse button. Go to the navigation pane, click on the desktop, and then, you know, find another folder and click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because I do want it in my Exercises folder. And then for the file name, the generic name is Database1. Go ahead and click in it once, and then click in it again to get your cursor flashing, and delete everything to the left of the extension, .accdb. The extension, again, is what the operating system assigns to that file. So it knows to open up that file that we give the name. Let's call it computer inventory. ACC is access, DB is database, so it'll open up in the Microsoft Access database. That's all we need to do. Go ahead and click create. When we do, it does two things. First of all, it dumps it into that folder, of course, and it gives it a name, the name that we assigned it, computer inventory. This is the show of the program. And second of all, it starts us off in the database with a complementary table which is fine, but I'm not ready to work on my tables yet or to design them, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. So congratulations, you've got a database, now we just need to start creating tables, which we'll learn how to do in the next training video. But before we do that, let me go ahead and uh, close out, go back to my Exercises folder, double-click, and there you go, there's my database, double-click on it. It's a blank empty database. I can go ahead and start creating those objects, but before we do that, let me click on the file, go down to New, and let's see what it looks like to create a database from a template. Let's do contacts. Click on that, opens it up. It's got a few templates here. How about if we use the contacts? Click on that. Comes over here. It doesn't give us too much information. But if I want to go ahead and see what it looks like, again, come down here, click on the download, and instead of the create, it'll download it to your computer. Where is it going to download? Well, by default, to my exercises folder. And what's the name? Contacts. I'm OK with that. Click on download. And then Microsoft gives us a warning saying, hey, this was created by somebody outside of the, uh, I guess, Microsoft company. Are you okay with that? Um, uh, it's up to you. you. Take your chances. It does give you the warning. I'll go ahead and click Accept. Then it downloads it. Pops it open. And this is kind of cool. When it pops it open, this is a form. Can you see that little icon in the upper left-hand corner? It's a greeting form, and you can see the icons here, forms. That means it's a form. And it gives you some videos that you can go ahead and click and watch to find out how this database operates or works or how it's set up. Go ahead and click on it, watch the videos. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. And there we go. We've got tables, queries, forms, reports. It's all been set up. All you have to do is go ahead and start entering in your records. And here's the uh, form that's open. It's the contact list. Go ahead and start entering your contacts. You see, with the template, you didn't have to design this. You didn't have to set up this field and call it first name that field called last name company. We're going to learn to do all that from scratch in the next training video. If you don't want to do that, then go ahead and use one of the templates and have it pre-designed for you and see if that works. I'm going to go ahead and close out, and you can see that they're both here in my exercises folder. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right-click on contacts and delete that. Just stick with my database here. Double-click and let's go ahead and learn how to create a table in the next training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.